No, the Dominican Republic hasn't suddenly become more dangerous. Early Sunday, Skyla Martin of Hanover, Virginia, was taken to the hospital after she spent six miserable hours in her room and lost consciousness at a resort in the Dominican Republic. Martin and her husband were married last month, and they were in the country on their honeymoon. I she said doctors in the Dominican Republic speculated that it might have been a blood infection, but the exact cause of her illness is still unknown. The company that runs the hotel the Martins were staying at, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Punta Cana, said Tuesday that it's regretful. The Punta Cana Resort is the same one where he is one of seven we. Those answers are likely to be unsatisfying, because in overall terms, nothing unusual is going on in the Dominican Republic. In fact, the State Department has tallied all deaths of U.S. citizens abroad from so-called unnatural causes since 2007. Compared with the SEPT, those numbers don't include deaths from natural causes like those that are suspected in some of the recent cases. Overall death total, we the State Department said an average of 2.7 million Americans visit the Dominican Republic every year. In the decade through, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, reports that in 2017, the last year for which complete figures are available, the overall U.S. death rate was 8.49 per 1,000 U 18 percent higher than the death rate for Americans in the Dominican Republic. That doesn't shed any light however, on the dozens of Americans who have fallen ill in the country in recent months. Neither the State Department download the for breaking news and politics. Reports of mass outbreaks of illnesses, however, are not uncommon in the Dominican Republic and other parts of the Caribbean. A single message for the CDC, meanwhile, warns would-be tourists that drinking the country's tap water can open them to the agency is the non-profit International Association for Medical Assistance to Travelers even devotes a section on its website to in the Dominican Republic. Dominican Tourism Minister Francisco Javier Garca insists that the recent illness reports, while regrettable, are isolated. The FBI is Garca cited a survey by the country's central bank that reported that 99% of Americans who visited as tourists last year said it.